Okay, now we're gonna solve a couple of problems using algebraic techniques. Okay, let's start from the question number eight. It's given that if y equals four when x equals eight, you have to find y when x equals two. Okay, so in the question it's given that y varies inversely as x. So first of all, you have to build a setup y varies inversely as x. The second step is you have to form the equation and we have to remove the sign of proportionality. So the y equals k over x. Okay, now we have to figure out the value of k. And it's given that if y equals 4 and x equals 8. So just you have to substitute these two values. y is equal to 4 and x is equal to 8. y is equal to 4 and x is equal to 8. So k will be equal to, we have to multiply 8 on both sides. So k equals to 8 times 4, 32. So this is the value of k. And this equation, you can you can name it equation number one. So the equation number one will be like this. Y equals 32 over X. Okay, now we need to figure out the value of Y when X equals two. It's simple. Now you have to substitute X equals two and you have to figure out the Y. So Y equals 32 over X, X is two. 32 over 2, so y will be 32 over 2 equals 16. Okay. Let's do the question number 9. Okay. Question number 9 is if y equals negative 7 when x equals 3 we have to find y when x is negative 3 okay pause the video and try to figure out the problem okay the same steps like we have to write y varies inversely as x Set up the equation y equals k over x. Plug in first two values of x and y. y is negative 7 and x is 3 to figure out the value of k. y is negative 7 and x is 3. You have to figure out the value of k. You have to multiply 3 on both sides. So k will be 3 times negative 7, negative 21. So the equation will be y equals negative 21 over x okay now we have to find y when x equals negative 3 okay plug in x equals to negative 3 in this equation y equals negative 21 over negative 3 so negative 21 over negative 3 will be y equals 3 7 or 21 so y equals 7 this is the answer hope it makes sense okay now question number 10 Question number 10. It's given that if y equals negative 6 when x equals negative 2, we have to find y when x equals 4. Okay. Simple y is inversely proportional to x set up the equation y equals k over x the third step is you have to figure out the value of k and it's given that y equals negative 6 when x equals negative 2 just you have to substitute these two values in this equation y is negative 6 and x is negative 2 figure out the value of k you have to multiply negative 2 on both sides. So k will be equal to negative 2 times negative 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 
okay the equation will be y equals 12 over x okay so <clears throat> as it's given that we have to find y when x equals 4 just plug in x equals 4 in this equation y equals 12 over 4 so y equals 12 over 4 4 1 is a 4 and 4 3 is a 12 y equals 3 okay the next question Question number 11, if y equals negative 24, when x equals negative 3, we have to find x when y is equal to negative 6. Okay, so the same steps like y is inversely proportional to x, y equals k over x okay figure out the value of k as it's given that y is negative 24 when x is negative 3 y is negative 24 and x is negative 3 you have to figure out the value of k so multiply negative 3 on both sides so k will be negative 24 times negative 3 which will be 12 72 k is 72 okay so the equation will be y equals 72 over x okay now here's the a little bit different step we have to do we have to find x when y is negative 6 so now you have to plug in y equals negative 6 so negative 6 equals 72 over x okay by cross multiplication you would get negative 6x equals 72 and for x you have to divide negative 6 on both sides so x will be equal to negative 12 hope it makes sense okay let's try question number 12. Okay, question number 12. It's given that if y equals 15, when x equals 1, you have to find x when y equals 3. Okay, pause the video and try to figure out the problem because it's this it's just like same as we did question number 11 okay so y is inversely proportional to x y equals k over x and uh, we have to plug in x and y y is 15 and x is 1 so k equals 15 so the equation will be y equals 15 over x okay we need to figure out the value of x when y equals 3 so just yes, you have to plug in y equals 3 in this equation y equals 3 equals 15 over x and x will be just like you and you have to do the cross multiplication you would get x equals 15 over 3 x equals 3 5 or 15 5 this is the answer. Okay, question number 13. It's given that if y equals 48, when x equals negative 4, we have to find y when x equals 6 okay set up the equation the first step is y is inversely proportional to x y equals k over x the third step is you have to figure out the value of k for that you have to plug in y and x y is 48 and x is negative 4 so 
So K will be equal to 48 times negative 4, which will be negative 192. Okay. So the equation will be y equals negative 192 over x. Okay. Now we have to figure out the value of y when x equals 6. So you have to plug in x equals 6 in this equation. y is equal to negative 192 over 6. So y will be 6, 3 or 18 and 6 to the 12 it will be negative 32 this is the answer okay the last one it's given that if y equals negative 4 when x equals 1 half you have to find x when y equals 2 Okay. Okay. So the first step is y is inversely proportional to x. Y is equal to k over x. As it's given that y is equal to negative 4 and x equal to 1 half. We have to plug in these two values, negative 4 and 1 half. So it will be negative 4 equals to 2k. And k will be equals to negative 4 over 2. We have to divide 2 on both sides. So k is equal to negative 2. So the equation will be y is equal to negative 2 over x. We need to figure out the x when y is equal to 2. Okay, you have to plug in y equals to 2 in this equation. 2 equals to negative 2 over x. And x will be negative 2 over 2. That's equal to negative 1. x is equal to negative 1. Hope it makes sense.